This is Debbie Crawford with Kentucky Anna News, and we're here at the Madison Regatta. Mary Beth Boone is here with us too, our co-host, and we have found Jimmy Shane. He's agreed to and talk with us today. How are you doing today, Jimmy? Yeah, excellent. How are you? Oh, good, good. Now, Mary Beth has found out something very interesting about Jimmy. What is that, Mary Beth? Well, we think you build rockets, and we're so glad that you're back with the Madison H1 circuit. We are just loving that you're back in town. Thank you. Now, do you really build rockets? I do, yes. Oh, my goodness. My, my real day job is for a company called Blue Origin, and it's owned by Jeff Bezos. And I, uh, I get to build rockets during the day. Oh my goodness. So, how great is that? On the water and in your day job. Yeah. So, how's it look today? The water looks good today, doesn't it? Looks great. We had a little bit of a rainstorm this morning. Everything looks clear. Uh, light breeze, which is exactly what you want for water conditions, and it's looking like it's going to be a great Friday here at the Madison Regatta. Oh my goodness! Now you got you got sat Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then after the Sunday races, you're going down, and then where do you head off to? And then we have uh, three weeks off. We go out to the West Coast and swing. We'll be in Tri Cities, Washington, and Seattle the weekend. After that. Oh my goodness! The weather will be nice there too. Won't it? Probably. Yes. We're so happy that the weather held out for us this year. Yeah. We missed all the great activities last year oh, yes. and um so tell us what's your feeling about madison you've been on this walk um, yeah. you've come so close to the taste of victory hitting here and we just want to know, you know how, how are you anticipating this race yeah i've been uh, i've been very fortunate to be uh very successful racing these boats the one place that i haven't been able to uh obtain a win yet on the circuit is madison there's one thing that I would like to do for the city and the fans and all of the sponsors uh, here in Madison and is to bring home uh, the hometown boat and, and, and make it a winner here in Madison. And let me tell you, I don't think there's ever been a race car driver that anybody has ever wanted that to happen. <laughs> yes. yes. We follow you on your different races over the internet and our, our radio crew locally does. I can honestly tell you, since the, the movie The Making of Madison, yeah. you are the next best thing to Jim Caviezel. And uh, if there's a sequel, maybe it'll be <laughs> She's hoping there's a sequel with Jimmy Shane. We are. It's a great movie. We think that you uh, would be perfect for that part. Maybe if I finally win the race this year, then uh, they'll, they'll oh, give us some give us some go ahead to make the sequel for the movie. This will be your good luck interview. Thank yes. you. So Thank if you win today, it'll be our. I'll, I'll our, come straight to you, and you guys will be the first ones. I think. We want to be the first to hear about that. Definitely. Well, good definitely. luck, Jimmy. We Thank really you appreciate much. you taking good the time. Vibes, with us. and we we hope you um, are just smooth and graceful it's, out on the water. Thank you. And every Everything goes great on each turn. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Everything's going to be fantastic. They lengthened the course out this year yes. uh, to try to make it a little bit safer for us uh, with the rough water through the turns. And I think you're going to see some really fast boats this week. And that right. will also make it faster by you having a mile on each side. Yeah, we're, we should be hitting 200 miles per hour at the end of the straight Oh, my yeah. gosh. <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> be great. We'll be watching. So, Thank great. You. Well, thanks again. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. And thank you so much for watching Kentucky Anna News. Make sure you make it out to the regatta. You got a regatta. The Madison Regatta, and we have a special guest today, and you are? Tom Thompson. Tom Thompson. And you race which, which boat? I race for the Peters and May GPR 11. How many years have you raced for them? I've been racing my fourth season for them. So you've been to Madison four times already? Well, yes, we have. And unfortunately, a couple of times I've been here, the water was bad. Yeah. The great thing about it is this area, the fans, the spectators all just love us. We love being welcomed like they welcome us, and we're looking forward to a great weekend. Well, this weekend, the water looks great. Is it very choppy, or is it okay? No, we ran yesterday uh, three times, and the water was great all three times. It looks just as good today, a little cooler today, which is a plus. Yes. So we're really excited about getting on the water and going today. Oh, that's awesome. Now, it, what is your favorite? part about the racing <laughs> that's tough actually racing <laughs> no i just i mean i i enjoy coming to the races and, and being with people and things like that but being on the water is what i do so that's that's my best favorite now part. do you think the longer route where you have a mile on each straight stretch is going to benefit you in any way i don't know that it's a whole lot of benefit uh it, it doesn't hinder you either you just have to set up for each race course a little bit differently you have gear combinations and prop combinations so once you figure that out that's that's all good. Oh, 
about. Well, is there anything you could tell people that maybe they don't know that aren't from, they've never been to a race before? Why should they come to the to a regatta? It's extremely exciting. This weekend, there's eight of us here. We're all very, very competitive. So as the heats go, you'll see there. You know, there's a couple of fan favorites, of course, but then there's three or four other boats that have a shot at winning as well. So it's it's going to be some real exciting racing. Well, you heard it from him. You better come watch. This is awesome. Now tomorrow there's a chance of showers, but today is beautiful. So make it on out. Check out the regatta. who we found now. Mary Beth and I have found Dave Holly and Larry Alberto and they're going to tell us some things that are going on. What are some of the new things that we've got? Yep. Well, we've got our team to the new 11 or the TPR 11. So we, uh, as Peter's made, we sponsored the boat. We tried to bring a British theme to it. Which is pretty difficult to do this weekend and what it's all about. But, um, so our, our, our company transports yachts around the world and we were involved with the sport, been involved with the sport since 2009. And we were the guys that moved the boats across the Qatar when they had the race over there. And uh, I went to my first race in Evansville, Indiana. I got hooked on the sport. Larry, Larry always told me they'd become a fan. I was just Thank you, Move everything and be in charge of everything and, and make all this happen. And I love the international approach too. The sophistication that you bring to the, you know, this H1 circuit is awesome. No, it's great and it's a good sport. You know, Larry and I are very passionate about it. I mean, his company supported the sport for over 40 years. You know, Madison here, and, and for me, it's uh, guys like this that have made the sport, and Absolutely. teams like ours have continued to, to put it into the sport. Now, Larry, what are some of the things that you see going forward with the races? Well, right, right now we're actually doing a study to help rebrand the sport and capture the people like my niece and nephew, right? The younger generation. Yeah. Oh, and, we're, we're getting older. Yeah, <laughs> it's just all sorts of things, like kind of a Where's Waldo thing, like the geocaching is really big, if you know what that yes, is. Yes, I do. I okay, do right. So we're thinking of things like doing little contests with geocaching where maybe Jimmy Shane would be somewhere uh, selling hot dogs right <laughs> yeah, perfect. so they, they sell they, they like they find them they take a selfie yeah. and then we'll have an artist design like a sticker pack of oh, the Jimmy goodness. Shane little that's sticker great. pack right that's and little, their own little branded emojis in that but you're the first person to kind of hear of this idea breaking news it breaking. is breaking news I breaking haven't news. told it's anybody it's a great concept Adult and nobody color. gets it. it it's 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 it's, it's my idea <laughs> now see it's official it's his idea it only takes my ideas it says his. This one's definitely his. Definitely his. I, I've taken a lot of ideas. As a matter of fact, I got a book about this big he wrote, and I just oh erased God. his name. And I put my name on but it. But he's the muse, right? But, but the I, muse. Asked him, I asked him. He said it was okay. Yeah. No, we, we, we all had ideas over the years for the sport. You know, the sport's a great thing. We enjoy it. And Larry's right. You know, you look at the sport, it's got a great history. Yes. But it's trying to engage different ages, different genders. Yes. You know, it's, it's important that everybody's involved. The goal is to improve the sport the best way you can to market it in a, in a I mean a lot of a lot of people possible. being critical this year here there's less boats but what you got here this year is eight quality boats that are going to run sometimes we have boats that turn up they don't run well so we both agree that's not necessarily good for the sport I think that's important you know, with a place like this with so much history in the race they need a good show so eight, eight good boats running is better than having 10 or 12 boats that may not perform that's true and keeping this, this alive I mean when this was the goal um, like you cannot even get a spot on So, I mean, just the fact that this has stayed alive this long, yeah. I mean, it has to be, it has to be all these, you guys know our eyes, I eye on to us because you come every year, you support it, Larry, 15 years, your family sponsored our hometown boat, uh, Madison, is just forever grateful. Unlimited. It's been, it's awesome. I mean, I, I mean my, this was my mom's favorite place. Oh my and I mean, she loved us all the way back in '74, the first time she came, and I'm just glad to carry on the tradition. You 
good to see Bill Murray. He's still here. You know, I feel the, 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 the hometown team, the, the hometown people here really make me feel like it. And so you can see the award as well. You know, any way I can. Everybody loves Larry. I walk around with him just so I can see him. Larry. Actually, I'm like, you know, you know, he, he likes the football. He's like, you know, he likes like, you know, he like, you know, to like, feel tall. So that's why. I'm going to sit down. Stand up so we can see. See, this is, you know, he likes the long short we love it. We love it. But we also like the fact, I'm excited to hear what you're going to do. One more race. Yep. Uh, John Fiat is going to sponsor, you're sponsoring the driver. Yep. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's uh, the, the history of the deal is... Uh, Management decided they just want to focus on the hometown event, and so it's just a one-race sponsorship. So, I mean, I'm really glad that we were able to help Home Street come and take over the Madison thing with, like, the championship team. That makes me feel really good. And then I passed the torch on to my nephew, Steven, who now he's, I don't know how old he is, in his 30s. Oh, that's great. So he grew up around the boats, and so he now is going to be the boat guy while I work on the series stuff. That's great. It's in your blood. It's it in is. your bird blood. It is. And people yeah. ask, Mike, am I going to wear a Madison Home Street shirt or an Alberto <laughs> shirt? And I'm going to kind of, I'll put a pin of both, but I'm going to stay stay neutral yeah. and, and stay out of it. You I'm, just point the phrase, you got to regard it. That's it. You got to regard it. You know it. Right here. You got to regard it. It's the place. Well, thanks so much, you guys, for coming and talking to us. Yeah. Just Coming to Madison is supporting. It's, it's a long flight. Oh, I bet. Oh my! How many hours did it take? It's not a long flight because I was in New York. So oh well. But I, I live in England, so yes. you know we've got a whole big fan base in the UK now. That's the whole idea of having the, the, the British boat, formerly formal European yeah. Union. Yeah. And, uh, so for us now, it's about getting the sport on a global. Larry's focusing on the US yeah. and how to tidy the sport up and get more sponsors in, which is going to be important. We're focusing on how we get the international view. Yeah. Uh, we had a magazine a few weeks ago, a big Paramo magazine in the UK, a four page spread on the uh, H1. There's a lot of fans in you know, Europe, uh, in the Middle East, and in the Far East. So it's, it's a great thing. You don't realize, you look at this and go, how local? But well, actually, the sport now is becoming a global sport. Uh, that's good for everyone. Well, Reaching out. Yeah, great. We need to go. We need to go. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Now, is there anything maybe you want to tell people to watch for or someplace? I don't know, I think it's great that it's a three day event, so today they're going to see some practice and qualifying. The river the river looks great. Yes. You know, we had a few years where unfortunately oh. Mother Nature messed around with us. <laughs> it's but no, it's, yeah. I think it's going to be some good, like I said, we've got eight good boats, so whatever heat you have, it's going to be a good race. Um, and then we've got the support classes, and they sound great, they look great. So. And then if you look around here, you know, all the tents and the food, it's a, it's a circus. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. We just want to pack the surface to be great. Yeah, and that's going to happen in the next two days. Perfect weather, perfect water conditions, uh, perfect people. So. And a longer course. Yeah, a while on each side. Now that's great. That's and that now, with the fans, the fans, you were mentioned like, what should the fans see? I think the fans really need to take note that this probably is the longest straightaway since, since they had a three mile. Course. I mean, it's it, tight corners, really long straightaways. Uh, the boats will be geared for top end, which will be pretty hairy. And lane one probably won't be where they want to go. So you're going to see a bit of history. It's going to get interesting. It is going to get interesting. They're going to do, do 200 miles an hour. Everybody yeah. wants to do yeah. 200 miles an hour. They're going to hit 200 miles an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy Jay said easy 200. Yeah. Yeah. He's excited. He's always excited. He's a great guy. He's a lucky guy. Yeah. Yeah. He is. He's a good kid. And he's a good ambassador for the sport. You know, you look around, you look at Steve David, even Dave Bill Watt. You know, the guys that are moving on, the young guys coming through, J. Michael Kelly, you know, Jimmy, uh, Brian Perkins, they do a great job. You know, in 20 years' time, we're going to be talking about them and uh, who's replacing them. That's great. And in 20 years' time, we're starting to get 100%. 100%. He's going to have uh, more years.
Put your hand on the side. Gray. Get the work between the gray. Hell, I'm getting gray, <laughs> gray now. Yeah. Um, I guess. Let me think of anything else. Uh, I guess if, if people have ideas, send me the ideas. I mean, there's no, there's no bad idea unless we try it and it doesn't work. And I'm, I mean, I want to hear from the fans, the people. Like, what do you want to see more of? Right? Yes. What, what, what do you like about what we're doing? So we can give you more. You know? Steve David's having a Q and A session today, so. I think it's a chance for the fans to come up there and tell the chairman exactly uh, where he is right there. Hey, Steve! We have to behave ourselves now. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks well, for good. having us. Thank you, guys. Have a great weekend. So now, make sure you make make notes, and if you want to drop them off to somebody with the regatta team, do that. And let them know what you like and don't like, or what you'd like to see in the future. So make sure you do that. Thanks. Hello, we're down here at the regatta again and we're talking to Jimmy Shane at the end of the races. Now we talked to him before the races started and he did some great things today. So you won today, didn't you? We did. We had a fantastic race here in the final and uh, it was extremely exciting for all the fans. Oh, there was yes. uh, both side by side, there was rough water, uh, and there was a blowover, and yeah. uh, luckily everybody's safe and okay, and we put on a great show for the fans. Oh, you did You did a great job. I was. We were all cheering and hoping that you made it. Each race you won, it was like, oh, that's another step closer to the Governor's Cup, and then you did it. So. Absolutely. A wonderful race here for the City of Madison. Uh, luckily, the uh, hometown boat came yeah. through today, and that's exactly what we were shooting for. I just think it's wonderful. I mean, you are a hometown person. You know, the boat, everybody works on it here. And we work for all the boats and hope that they do okay in place. And, but we always hope you win. So. <laughs> and that, that's okay. That's a very yeah. good. Uh, I can't tell you how, how passionate the fans are here in Madison, Indiana. Not only for their hometown right. boat, but for the sport of uh, hydroplane racing in general. Oh, they have to be. There's ladies up here on the hillside in their 80s wrapped up in plastic to watch you. Oh, yeah. No, they, they really persevered through the weather today. Yes. And uh, luckily, we were able to put on a great show for them. Oh, well, you did it. Well, now, did you do the? Did you do your fastest time here this weekend? Uh, we did. We hit, uh, I can tell you that we hit 189 miles per hour yes. at the end of the straightaway. Turns are a little tight for us to, to really get going fast, but uh, we hit a hundred, just about 190 miles an hour. That's awesome. Thank you. That, you had a ball, didn't you? I did. I loved it. <laughs> so we're going to see you next year. Yes, ma'am. That's wonderful. Now, good luck the rest of the time. You've got several races to go to finish the circuit, right? Yes. Now, where's your next one? We'll be in Tri-Cities, Washington on July, last weekend in July. I think it's the 26th, 27th, 28th. Right. Well, if you're going to be in Washington, you need to stop by and watch him race again. Is there anything you'd like to tell the fans? No, just thank you for everything. Uh, thanks for all the warm uh, welcomes here in, in Madison every time I come. And uh, happy to support you guys. Well, thank you guys, especially for watching. Make sure you check out Jimmy Shay. Hello, this is Debbie Crawford, and we are here with and he's come out just fine. How oh, are you yeah. feeling, Cal? Feeling good. Feeling, feeling good. Yeah, um, there was a bit of a rough <laughs> landing, but it, hey, what are you going to do? I didn't get wet. No, you Lift, didn't. Lifted the lid up, stood up, was happy that I didn't have to swim in the river. Oh. I never went swimming in the river, and I didn't plan on it that evening. So. Well, you wouldn't believe all the yells when you got out of that cockpit. I mean, it was, from over here, we could see the little black dot stand up, and it was like, yes, he's yeah, fine. It was, it was great. When I lifted the lid and come out, I could hear the roars oh, everywhere. Yes. So thank you, Madison, Indiana, for that. All everybody here is boat race fans. I know you cheer for the Madison. Madison is, is where it's at. But when a driver like myself comes into town, possibly gets into a, a, a bad wreck, which 
you know, you never know what's gonna happen. And I lift the lid and I hear the whole town cheer. Oh yeah, that makes me feel good even now. Yeah, I think we root for everybody. We just kind of hope that hometown wins. Oh, of course. <laughs> hey, I gotta be honest, I'm pulling for you too. Oh, well, thank you. That's wonderful. <laughs> hey, why not? I love Jimmy Shane and love Madison, Indiana. And what a great race it was. And I hope it was exciting for everybody. It was oh, for me. Wow. It was wonderful. Now next year when you come back, when we get to see you again and have another visit with you, of course. Oh, awesome. awesome. Yeah, open invitation. Come on down. I hope it's under oh, different circumstances. Uh, well, we're going to interview you before before the race has ever start. You're going to tell me what all that equipment is. Uh, I'm going to tell you what everything we did <laughs> and how we fixed everything, and then we'll talk after I win the race next year. Hey, there you go. All right. We'll just see what happens next year. We will. All right. Thank you, Cal. Thank very you. Much. Thanks.